Hello. And here we are. In the void of eternity, as Deck just put it. <laughs> oh, what else? Oh, my God. Wiggly. Some pushing going on. Wiggly indeed. Is that you as yourself, though? Because if so, doesn't that mean you're technically touching yourself? Stop touching yourself. Oh, that looks fine. Nice and abundant, as far as I can tell. That's a bush, bitch. Not a bun. I'll a bun you in a minute. You'll give me a bun? I, well, I've got long enough hair right now, so you can try. That went differently to how I thought it would. Where's mate? Have I not got any of those? Underneath the white seed. Oh, there. oh no, that's your hand. Oh yeah, there is one. Don't mind me, I'm eating chocolate. Ah, uh, man. It's the right time of year. Any time, technically the right time of year. Oh, this one looks important. An extra wiggly. Extra wiggly. So it doesn't... I'm going to grab all this uh, mysterious consumption energy first. So Here's a thought. Stop me if it sounds weird. Okay. If he's walking on the whole of existence, doesn't that technically mean that he's corrupting or willing into everything into existence? Which therefore creates the thing that is king to kill his lover, I assume? General vibe. So basically, anything that he's doing right now is going to kill kill the person that he cares about. Possibly. Oh my God! What the hell is that? It's like you know when you see a TED talk or something, and they always have yeah. them weird speech bubbles that are like, oh, and then some text and that nobody really cares about. What about the branch with nothing on it? These have got burbs. They do have burbs. Maybe they want some seed. Plus, it's home! Oops. You monster. There we go, new seed. New bird with new seed. No, that's not yet. That's how pruning works. No one told me they'd be pruning deck. Maybe it has to resonate with the universe or something. Maybe. That's why there's different noises. Because apparently that everything that we perceive, although we cannot comprehend, is in tune with the universe. Oh, really? Um, to an extent, yeah, because uh, that's why people may... Have you heard... Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, oh, um... Burbs are a thing now. But yeah, that's why they have the whole planets, the sound of planets thing. Have you not heard of it? Oh yeah. The where? The sound I think it's... of planets. What are you on about, Rich? Yeah, hello, darkness, my old friend. No, that not that that not that. 
No, the actual sounds of planets. So they, um, I don't know how they did it, but they generally had a, have recorded the sounds of planets and what they sound like. All right. Um, so all planet sounds from space in our solar system. And so you can hear the sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and so on. Um, okay, Plas uh, and they use plasma, plasma waves, uh, like the roaring ocean surf, create a rhythmic cacophony that with the emphasis instrument soundboard, a instrument aboard NASA's an alien probe. Uh, we can hear across space. Yay! So, uh, you can hear, um, like, emissions and stuff. Cool. Um, so, assuming that we record that sound, um, essentially, Every, we can assume that everything resonates with the universe in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Good try. Off you, Pop. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I found something kind of... Like I've heard something kind of cool, and then I essentially used Google to make myself sound smart like that. Oh, man, you do right. It's one of them things, you hear a little tidbit, and you're like, oh, let me just double check that. Yeah, but, um, they do, like, so you can essentially listen to the sounds of planets. Honestly, some of them sound amazing. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then you hear some of them and you think, oh my god, it's like scratching out my own eardrum. <laughs> oh my god, animals. Hey, look at this. Hello. Oh dear. Her. <laughs> Hi, right, pal. Oh, Seeb. These ones are gold. Oh, gold Seeb. <laughs> Ah, oh, that'll help me get through the gate. And now to do something extraordinary, I imagine. So essentially at the minute... Oh yeah, he's napping. <laughs> so essentially at the minute we have... Um, what I assume is orange seeds, watermelon seeds, and lemon seeds. Yeah, that'll do. Just like raft. <laughs> this is nothing like raft. I don't have gates chiming at me in raft. Boom, 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 boom. Instead, I have to just deal with your, like, neutral chaos. Neutral chaos. That's me. Uh. Hi, right, Deezer. That's a good word. Oh. I look a bit corrupted. <laughs> Quickly. Excuse me while I follow the wiggly yellow brick road. Don't so, you hate it when you shoot white things at your hands? I think this is meant to be the tree of life, Dirk. Well, it's a tree of something. 
But I don't know if that's life or growing on that tree. There's a snake though, and a bird. Where's a snake? I always find it weird how there's a tree of life and all that stuff. Because if you What are you doing? Oh you you just dropping everything off here. Oh, okay. Oh. He doesn't look happy. The thing I don't get about, like, um, the Tree of Life and all that is that they never really explain death properly in the Tree oh. of Life and all that. Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, I just made my eyes go a bit funny. <laughs> is it because you're experiencing the universe and everything? Yeah, man. going on deck <laughs> don't know either I'm sure we'll uh, we'll find out he's basically saying if he saves her then they get to be happy ever after or if he figures out what they are plan for how to save a guard Was a saxophonist all along. Is that actually what it's called? I don't think it is. I thought they were just called saxophone players or jazz men. Jazz men? <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's face it, they do play jazz a lot of the time. Oh, it's true. What am I missing? Well, there's nothing here? wrong with it. Because they're the jazz men, and if it's your, if they're yours, they're the jazz man. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Were you confused by that? I'm always confused, pal. Because Jasmine. So there you go.
How come he's highlighted in yellow now? I don't know. Maybe looking for the next part of the universe. Nothing here. It had to be on the moon. Oh, I get it. Oh. False lead. So essentially, you've got to create. The, you've got to expand the black hole that will stop the Big Bang. Which won't kill his girlfriend. Right, okay. Possibly. I don't know, maybe I'm being really dumb. Did I miss? The flame burns brightly. So these diamonds will help. Right. I'm getting rid of all the chaff. Going into the diamond team. Three hundred eighty thousand years after the Big Bang, the universe was like a smoke filled chamber from which light could not escape. The stars had not yet arrived, and a haze of hydrogen would smother all light until their appearance. Over hundreds of millions of years, the pressure of gravity condensed the first star from this cloud of hydrogen and ignited a fire across the whole universe. Memories of the Dark Age, however, linger to this day, for at the heart of every gas giant lives a failed star. in some kind of energy. You know what I find weird? This game? No, well, I do. I, I don't. I find it intriguing more than uh, weird. Is that. Or, like. Most religion. Doesn't kind of. I don't know how to say it. They don't throw shade on science. They accept that science is a thing and they're just like, okay, but what created all this? To which obviously we have some vague idea. But, um. Onwards to Saturn! That's trippy. So I'm everywhere and nowhere at once. Seems like it. But yeah, um, they don't tend to throw shade on science. But um, they accept that science is a thing and it, it, it does in fact explain for a lot of things. But, or at least I, this, I'd say there's an argument to say that any any religion that and this is just a possible argument, this isn't my argument by the way this is just a potential opinion upon thousands upon millions of potential opinions and that my brain is just kind of pulling this one out of the air yeah is that any I'd like my like any good religion would accept that science is a thing kind of like how every other religion's opinion is a thing and although they accept that they go okay fair enough but we believe in this and this is our way of doing things um because they kind of have to be 
progressive, don't they? So this is good sense. Can't get any closer, apparently. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I can't get any closer, it gets closer. You lied to me. First, I thought that was happy birthday. Oh, we'll get a bloody copyright strike for that, won't we, pal? Mmm, <laughs> table wine. Those bottles look like the Among Us people with, like, just... Antenna. Like, yeah, like, Tinky Winky Antenna. Where is it Dipsy? The one with, the one with a straight line. Are you thinking of Purr? Oh, oh, the one with the hole. Oh, Christ, nurse, pal. I don't know anymore. What? I'm gonna look up the Teletubbies now. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. Alright. It's La La. Oh, no, it's not La La. It is Dipsy. Oh, it's right. Well, mate, you did guess twice, so that's uh, that's better than fifty percent. <laughs> All right, I I tried. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like twenty some years since I've seen the Teletubbies. Why am I suddenly so fast? Wow! I don't know. Why did you guess one of the? Why did you guess the wrong Teletubby? Guess it's the the most fun to see. Poe is the one with a hole in his head. I knew it. Oh. But, uh, and it, like, Lala's the one with the, with the swirl. Tinky Wink is the triangle. Although it does make it, it, if you look at them, it's weird because two of them have two set, like, have one colour of face. The two of them have another colour of face. But usually, like when you have like, unless it's um, tweenies and they're all multicolored, usually they'll have the same color, don't they? Yeah, like kids TV, usually, yeah. E except Rosie and Jim and then Sutton and Sweet. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of defeating my own theory here, Anna. Ah, oh, Rosie and Jim were eight. Was that about them two puppies what lived on a on a barge? Yeah. Oh, uh... Yeah, don't knock your cigar off on me, sunshine. I take great exception to that. Rosie and Jim were creepy looking, though. You know that, that um, lasted nine seasons. What, Rosie and Jim? Yeah. Sunshine, I put your cigar out. Oh. <laughs> Did he fart or something? No, I just uh, threw his cigar end with me in it. It just sounded like a fart when he did it. It did sound like a bit of a pop, didn't it? It kind of looks like a finger though. Tightly wound and recently put out a piece of evidence to be filed. Will do. Ha! As you do. But yeah, I'd say any progressive religion, which they probably they probably all are progressive because, like, if. And now I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm not going to be throwing shade on uh, on religion because, let's face it, I'm agnostic, so I believe that no religion is correct, but there is an existence of something. Oh yeah. So, which in theory means that I do believe in a god, therefore I am somewhat religious in a way. You know, at six nine. Um. 
some kind of god or something, eh? So, any progressive... If God created everything and everyone, then that technically means that God, as a being, created everybody to experience everything that they perceive. Light reflected upon a pool, volcanic rock now dark and cold, incubated organic mo molecules as they slosh with the tide. Hydrophilic lipids clumped together, forming self-assembling bilayer walls. Enclosure gave rise to single-celled organisms, which soon began to endlessly recreate their own image. Hmm. The water's filled with life consuming itself, vainly reproducing itself, larger and larger. Life would explode as sexual reproduction birthed seemingly endless variety. What could imbue inert carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen with desire, a phenomenon called abiogenesis, is not yet understood. All that is known is that in a pool, life began. Right, you are gov. Sorry, please proceed. Yeah, um, well, I'll, I'll speed it. I'll speed through it, basically. Because it's taken away from the game a little bit. Mm. Although this game is fascinating, it does leave me with more questions about existence than I would like. Oh, but yeah. what the Reflection. reflections? But yeah, uh, no, it's reflection. Just reflection. But yeah, if uh, like I don't understand, like the thing that I don't get about religion, and this is probably why I'm not technically religious. Oh, there's an inscription. MM and GB, eh? So Miss, Miss Mass and Golden Boy, right? I have no idea. Um. But yeah, the is that a tie? I think so, yeah. Um. Because, let's face it, oh, it is a tie. I call it. So, religion as a, as a whole. What the hell is going on here? Um, people perceive God and assume God's intentions, but obviously, as uh, our perceptions change, they have to be progressive, which. I think that's the only problem I actually have with religion as a whole. Like, and I don't mean specific ones, I just mean because like, for example, for a long time, many major religious countries and places were like, oh yeah, no, you can't have gay marriage, you can't be homosexual, it's a, it's sacrilege. But over time, as as, our, as it's become more accepting by us as people, it's like, oh yeah, God will understand. And it's like, well, surely God would have understood anyway. But thank you for your confirmation. Yeah. So uh, I think that's one of the weird things I have with it. Because, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, it's more our perception. It's more our perception of... Because everything's based off of an assumption, isn't it? Why is he sudden water? You're not wearing wellies, mate. I'm not wearing celestial wellies. Also, that's a big whiskey bowl. Was he saying shoe? Yeah, I believe so. I'll nail him on bounce up. then. Up and out there. <laughs> Do you have to hit the saxophone? Oh, 
I'm not actually aiming it, to be honest, pal. He <laughs> oh. threw flowers at you. He did, yeah. That old golden boy. Is he actually called Golden Boy? Yeah, from the in-game stuff. Oh, it's a lapel flower. Big ass lapel flower. Oh, we are just really, really small. I oh, know, it's it's interesting though because um like we've theorized the creation of the universe in science. Enjoy the music. Smooth jazz. Saxophone. Saxophone. Um, the reason why like, I find it all interesting is because we've actually found evidence that the universe started from the Big Bang and there's still particles throughout the universe still travelling you know everything's still uh, moving out isn't it yeah so like, we can still see remnants of the Big Bang so we kind of have to accept, accept that it did happen, but although we accept that it, it did happen, there's no reason to refute that a god exists. No, not at all. It's just somebody believing in a, high, a power higher than themselves. Not yeah, what that is. Well, this is weird. What? It looks like a giant cotton bud. I'm gonna need my mouse for this. I think you do. No, you have to connect the other one, I think. Oh, you're creating constellations! No, I'm creating molecules, I think. Are you? Oh, you are. I think. How oh, weird. I think you have to connect to the light on. It looks like Venus. Um. <laughs> Tell me. It does. You can't say that it, not, it doesn't. Supposed to connect those two to it, not those two, the other two. Oh, yeah, I 
Oh my lord. Gonna need the mouse for this, I think. Sorry, controller. You've been dead. Ah, so you connect all the yellow ones. I think you connect that small white one to the yellow one. No, small... The one that's next to the yellow one. Please join us next time where we will try and figure this out. Bye. Until then, have a good one.